Bulldog Fun Nation. My name is James, checking in here at the first championship with Team 581, the Blazing Bulldogs out of California. And wow, you guys are blazing with this incredible rebuilt robot for the championship. So much to learn about. Here we have this incredible swivel arm, a great intake, a great climber. They've really done great here in this Reescape season. To learn more, we have Emmy, Elias, and Simon. Let's find out more on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. All right, Emmy, why don't you get us started? Let's talk about the swivel arm here. How did you guys come up with this design and why is it working out so well for you? Yeah, so this is our carriage um, here. Uh, as you can see, it rotates. So um, this arm is designed to rotate um, infinitely, so more than 360 degrees. Um, this is able to happen because we have the slip ring. At first, um, we had planned on doing a floating hard stop, uh, which meant that there were pins, and it would move like this, and it would hit another pin, and then it would move again. So this would give you about like maybe two full rotations, but with the slip ring, it allows it to be um, infinite. Um, and this is just really good for like picking up from the intake and passing through to the robot um, for software. Um, it powers uh, it powers our Kraken here. Um, and then here we have the claw and it's on a one to 12 um, ratio. Um, we have a two inch diameter uh, wheels on our claw. These are, are our um, printed backstops. Um, when we first began in taking algae, we realized that it would come in, but then it would slip. And so we added these on to make sure that wouldn't happen. Um, and it also helped with um, the wheels that we have because we had switched between um, Andy Mark blue, um, blue compression wheels. Um, and that worked really well for algae, but it didn't work well for coral. Uh, so this just helps us to intake both game pieces. Um, we also have this pocketing here, it's partially pocketed as you can see. Um, this is to lighten the arm, but also provide more rigid, uh, rigidity. Um, in our past robot, our arm was super heavy, uh, which made um, the CG pretty high up and we really wanted to decrease this um, on our new robot, yeah. Really incredible engineering there, I mean, thanks for diving into that. Obviously, this is a lot different than your previous robot, right? So Elias, can you tell me a little bit more about this engineering process, this rebuild, as well as these cool uh, cool elements here at the front of your robot with your intake and your climber? Yeah, of course I can do that. Watch that, Amy. Um, so the biggest like difference between this robot and the old robot is everything on it, except for the climber. <laughs> um, and one of the, like, the processes and the mental process that we went through to do that um, is after Pinnacles and SVR, we realized that our robot was very capped. Um, and we have a really awesome software team. Um, and so knowing that we had such a good software team, we realized that we, we had a lot of potential that we weren't really hitting. Um, and so going into the championship, we wanted a full width intake. Um, our old robot had a very short claw. It was like this. And we did a lot of finicky things to make that work with the, it's a, the same mechanism to score and intake. Um, and so with this new wider intake, um, we, we couldn't do that with our old one. We couldn't put funnels, we couldn't um, uh, do any cheeky solutions like that. And so we had to redesign our elevator. And then we said, well, while we're at it, we can also do a little bit of climber modifications and we can also do a little bit of arm modifications. Um, so I'll talk about the intake first, I guess. The intake is heavily inspired by Mad Sound. Um, we did lots and lots and lots of iteration on the front roller. Um, it's just our old robot was very robust and this one is better. Um, and so there was a lot of things that broke a lot. And so we had to go through a lot of different front rollers. We tried polycarb, we tried aluminum, um, and we, silly, but we settled on normal half inch hex. Um, and it just rotates like that. We've got some Fabworks gears uh, or plates uh, that, we, that we designed. And then, um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna come around to our climber. The climber is 
pretty similar to what we had at um, SVR. Uh, we were happy with the climb, but we weren't happy with the speed. So one of the biggest things um, is this ratcheting plate right here. Uh, so the climber will come out, it's deployed by this little torsion spring. Um, and at SVR, we had a 36 to one ratio and we dropped out all the way down to a nine to one with the ratchet stage. Uh, that's just from WCP. It'll come out, grab the cage with these really large four inch wheels. Um, it gets latched in place. Um, and then it comes down, it's like three to four seconds, uh, and we're really happy with our, our new climb. Very solid iteration, yeah. just an incredible process there, Elias. Um, what would you say was the hardest part of this rebuild process? Obviously, it's a pretty daunting task. What was that like for the Blazing Bulldogs? I want to say the hardest part of the rebuild uh, was probably like balancing the fact that we have a practice and a comp bot. Um, so this is our comp bot, obviously, but we built a practice robot in like nine days. We were like, we build a really like, uh, bare bones robot um, and then we can give it to software um, and then they can do iteration with it um, and and really the hardest part is that and also the robot kept breaking um, it's really really complicated uh, the arm can kill itself in like a very large amount of ways um, and the in like it can hit the intake um, and then obviously the climber was much faster um, and there was also a ratchet on it um, so all those things are really compounded so we, we made a practice spot really quickly um, and that gave software a lot of time to iterate um, and then we could make a good comp bot well, you guys really did a fantastic job with this yeah. robot. So I'd like to talk now with Simon a little bit more about the software. You know, as I said, you guys have a fantastic software team. Tell me a little bit more about what makes this robot so elite. Oh, yeah. Um, so something that is really cool about this robot is that the arm can go all the way down here. And so what we did was we saw this and we were like, we can intake like the pre-staged lollipop, you know, the coral and the algae in auto. Um, and so how we do that is we use this limelight for right here and we track the algae on top of the coral to center our robot with it so that you know it's very consistent when we intake and we don't miss. Um, and then after we intake it, the arm just goes up and scores it on whichever level we, we have. Um, and then another thing about our autos is we have a custom auto system. Um, and so it's very like modular and easy to make autos. Uh, and so instead of using like has, um, we just give it points and it will follow those points. Uh, and it's very like robust to interruptions in auto, so it's position based. Um, and so at our past events, you would see like our robot would go up to score and then our alliance partner would hit our robot while we we're trying to score. And our auto would like correct itself and we'd, we'd still make it on, which is very cool. Um, and then another thing is this intake isn't necessarily self-centering so if the coral is off center uh, we noticed we were having trouble when the claw would come down and do the handoff we were having trouble scoring because it was so off center and so we actually used this limelight here to track the coral in the intake to adjust the arm according to how offset it is um, yeah that's really smart so i also see an led back there what kind oh. of telemetry feedback are you giving to your drivers with that led strip yeah, so our robot is state machine based. Um, so each state pretty much has a different like color or pattern. Um, so if we're not holding anything, they're pretty much just off. But if like we grab an algae, they turn like the color of the algae. Um, and if we're like doing auto line to score, they blink really fast so that the driver knows that auto line is on. Um, but yeah, just stuff like that to make it kind of, you know, useful to see what the robot is doing. Well, Team 581, thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk to us today here on FUN. We really appreciate it. Best of luck at the rest of the first championship. And thank you all so much for watching. My name is James for the FUN Robotics Network, signing off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future FUN videos. Anymark provides superior service with the reliability that teams expect. Check out their sport gearbox and ratchet sport options to their tried and true compliant wheels used by teams all over the world. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Anymark.com for your one-stop shop of high quality and affordable solutions. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual price when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at Altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details.